Good evening, everyone. And thank you so much for coming out to the community forum. This is our opportunity to express concerns, suggestions, and feedback about what's specifically going on in the second district, which is also my district. Good evening. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank uh, the family at Thea Bowman Academy for the opportunity to uh, have this forum here in uh, this beautiful facility. I'm like, man, I'd really have, if I was in school and a library looked like this or a media center, I would probably have spent even more time there. And the way that this uh, typically goes and the way we typically uh, handle it is that the council person has an opportunity to express their concerns. I provide sort of an overview of uh, some of the highlights of what is going on in, in government that might be noteworthy to you. And then uh, the most important part for us of these forums is the opportunity for you to raise issues. Uh, without further ado, I wanted to give Councilman Proko the first opportunity to talk to you. And We've had a lot of serious problems in our community with the people who use our community as a dump site. And I'd like to thank a lot of those people who have always called me to voice their complaints. And when they call, I never just take the phone call. I always go to the site so that I can view the situation and take pictures and turn it over to the department heads who have really been doing an outstanding job. We have, I just gave him uh, some pictures of Second and Rutledge where they have been dumping. I thank Mr. Kirkman for those pictures. Uh, along the South Shore track, they're beginning to dump a lot of stuff in that area. Uh, you know, we have a lot of people who have senior citizens who have serious problems with vacant houses that they live next door to and people are using them as illegal operations and we're trying to shut it down. But we need help. We need people to act. We need people to call, always call when there's a problem. You don't have to leave your name. Just call, get the address, and I'll come by. Then I'll turn it over to Cozy. I'll turn it over to the chief. And if you notice on Chase Street, where the semi-trucks have been doing double parking, and I know a lot of you have seen that, I called the chief one day, I emailed him, and right away we took care of that problem. And now when you go down Chase, you don't see the double parking of semi-trucks. Uh, we met with them. They talked about spending $100,000 on renovating their parking lot because they say the semi-trucks that come, they're always coming on, um, they come before their pickup time. So what they want to do now is make it possible for them to pull inside the lot and sit and wait instead of the double parking because it's really been disrespectful to our community for six or eight semi-trucks, double parking, and then you have to drive around. Uh, the other issues we have, we, we've um, had demolition of 18 houses in our district. And uh, Mr. Kirkland, I think he tried to target all those burned out properties first. And we didn't have a lot of money, everybody know that. Uh, hopefully next year it'll be entirely different. <laughs> yeah, man, I'd like to bring to your attention two uh, dump site eyesores in my neighborhood. One okay. is on uh, second and, I mean, on uh, third and Wilson. Third There's Wilson. a burnt up house that's been, you know, abandoned for maybe 10, 15 years. And people are starting to throw garbage, just garbage all in back of the, the house in the alley and everything. It's a, you know, eyesore and it needs to come down. Okay, then we'll, we'll check that out and get that cleaned out and then block that up. You know, one of the things that we've been doing and uh, we would invite you to let us know if you have uh, an area. But we have been going uh, along with the team from General Services, Code Enforcement, uh, our constituent services, as well as uh, demolition, and going to uh, neighborhoods and just uh, taking an inventory of some of the needs that we have. And once that happens, then developing a plan of action and uh, working with the community. 